Hey guys, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead again. Another fire video for you guys today. It's been a busy one. Um, so this article is out of Monterey County Weekly. Um, so a fire at PG&E's Moss Landing Battery Plant causes Highway 1 closure and a shelter in place order. Uh, so, road closures are in effect and a shelter in place order is coming as a battery pack smolders at PG&E's Moss Landing Tesla battery plant. A fire at Elkhorn Battery was first reported to the North Monterey County Fire Protection District around 2 a.m. Tuesday morning. Notice how all of these fires happen in the middle of the night or like early morning. That's when, like, all these food plants and, and oil refineries and battery plants and grease plants and power plants and pretty much everything that's burning down starts in the middle of the night. Around the same time-ish. So, um, alright, so 2 a.m. Tuesday morning. Uh... Fire chief reported that the firefighters first to the scene found a battery pack on fire. Fortunately, he adds, it burned quickly and relatively cleanly. Uh, the thing about these batteries is they burn for days sometimes, Mendoza said. In this particular case, it burned rather quickly, in six hours or so. Um, as of about 9 a.m., we don't have any flame coming out of it. We continue to see smoke. It's white smoke, not dirty black smoke, which, that's a good thing. Um, duh, duh. They immediately notified some residential neighbors in the vicinity of the plant, but even as the fire calmed down, the wind direction began to shift, prompting officials to expand the safety footprint outward. Um... Before rush hour peaked, Highway 1 was closed down. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. What else is pertinent here? Basically, they didn't want anybody's health being impacted by breathing in some of this toxic smoke. Which is a good thing. Um, let's see. The impacted facility, PG&E's Elkhorn Battery, went into operation April 18th of this year. The 182.5 megawatt Tesla Megapack battery energy storage system enables PG&E to incorporate more renewable sources into its energy portfolio. This plant features 256 Tesla battery units on 33 concrete slabs. It is one of the largest utility-owned lithium-ion battery storage systems in the world. The plant was designed and constructed jointly by PG&E and Tesla, and is maintained by both companies. PG&E owns the facility, and their media relations team did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Uh, the impacted facility is smaller than the 400 megawatt Vistra battery storage facility next door, which a spokesperson said is not impacted by the fire today. Uh, da, da, da. So yeah, it's a new facility and it's already catching fire. Yes, we have oil plants. All these oil refineries that are catching fire now are over a hundred years old. Um, that just, it, it, we're continuing to see the fragility of our utilities systems and our power systems and our power storage systems. All of these things You need alternative power. You need fuel storage. You need... You need to have more than one way to skin a cat. Because this controlled demolition of all the things we use on a day-to-day -day basis are food our energy, our water, 
systems. You gotta have backups for those because they are being assaulted right now. So, all right, let's see how many more fires we find today. Um, also, I'm not sure if any uh, of you have heard about it or not, but there was a poultry plant uh, a couple weeks ago that also caught fire, which I didn't see in the news anywhere until just today. So, uh, if you guys want me to do a separate video on that, um, I can, just let me know. Uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, if you found this useful, entertaining, what have you, like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.